Alright, we're going to change a flat tire on this wheel. Um, this is going to be the greatest changing of a flat tire, but we'll see what we can do with it. First of all, <laughs> uh, let me get, like, see if I can get this a little bit more straight. Let's do it this way. There we go. Okay. First of all, I made a mistake, as it turns out. The inner tube in this tire is one and three eighths inch, and the one that I bought is tw twenty six by one and three eighths, and the one I bought is twenty six by one and a half to one to one seven one and three quarters. Twenty six by one and a half to one and three quarters, and the w what I actually needed was one and three eighths. So I don't know how well this new tire will be accommodated, but the first thing you have to do is remove the thing. There are certain bicycle tools that I'm going to use. This pair of spoons. Uh, these are very much the same size, shape, and uh, thickness and strength of the actual tools that they sell you at the bike shops to tire, tire changing tools. So first you have to start, find the uh, valve Start at the opposite end, because it's easier, well it doesn't really matter where you start, but I'm going to start here, at the top, and first I put in one spoon and pull out the thing, okay? If you're lucky, you can just, uh, you know, when you try to move this down, then it keeps going back in. So that's why you have a second spoon, or whatever your tool is. People, the, the biggest problem with this is people want to use screwdrivers. And the screwdrivers tend to always puncture the inner tube. <laughs> no matter how you try, the screwdriver goes in there and it, and it punctures the inner tube worse than it already was. So, you want these things that are rounded and it won't puncture the inner tube. So once you've got it started with one spoon, then you stick the other spoon in, holding the first one, and you're able to pull it out. Very soon, it'll just come out on its own. There we go. So that was very easy. With the simple student spoon, you get a good, good spoon of uh, dimensions that are about what this one is. It'll work. There you go. Now, next thing I do, here's where I want to go opposite of the valve. Just reach in there, pull out the tube. <coughs> Just kind of grab it. And it comes out. Not too hard. Sometimes it can be a little hard if you just pull it out and the, the um, tire will sometimes, after years of being in there, will be kind of a little bit stuck in there and will sort of have to pry it out a little bit more. As you know, and we're just going to pull the valve out. There we go. Now, I don't know where the leak on this thing was. Because um, when I squeeze it, I'm not hearing anything. I ought to hear something. And what I might have to do is stick this in a bucket of water, see if I can see the bubbles coming out of wherever the leak may be. But um, I'm going to try this with this new one that I bought. It ought to be, ought to hold air, even if it's a little large, wider than it ought to be. So if I'm a hole here, there's this cushion. Here's your next hole for the valve. Okay, pretty Straightforward. Get your valve, and hopefully it will be okay. Like I said, it might be a little. Is it any thicker than the actual valve it's replacing? Yeah, I think it may be a little. Let's see how they compare. Unfortunately, I think uh, I think the new one is a little bit thicker, maybe, than the one it's replacing, but maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe it just appears that way. So, I'm going to stick it in the hole. Beep, 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 beep. It's in there, baby. I'm getting it in there. Yeah. Yes, and it's coming out. And it's coming out. There you go. I, I, I think I may, I'm probably going to end up having to go back today. 
and buy the proper size that's one and three eighths instead of one and a half. So so far I got this in. Now I just stick it in the rest of it all the way around. Simple as that. I'm just sticking it under the you see, the tire the, the tire itself is half on and half off. So all I do is just stick in this inside. It works faster if you're not wearing pants, just in case you're wondering why I'm not wearing pants. <coughs> Something like that. Alright, it looks like now here are the tricks. You don't use a screwdriver or anything to push it in, you just push it on like that with your thumbs. And it's pretty easy at first and then it only gets harder towards the end. As you get near the top is when this isn't very difficult at all. But you just have to be careful as you push it over with your thumbs. Make sure you've got the inner tube inside the tire. That's all. Just there. Here's the very last, the very last few inches. There it is. It's simple as that. And that's on. Now, I'm going to try blowing it up with this hand pump. Yeah, my back's a little sore from bending over here. All right, uh, screw this thingy on here. Hand pump. Now I just screw it on here. Like this. And I have this foot pump, but I think the foot pump seems to be not working too well either. I'm not sure that's why I was having problems with, with this whole project. I can see them pretty well here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen, fourteen. Ooh, feels like it's holding. Feels like it's holding. The other one I get. Yeah, I get that. I guess I guess I guess I see the problem I was confused was because I still I'm, I'm I was squeezing this too and not hearing any kind of hissing or leaking. And I started presuming that it was okay. The leak might be in the actual valve itself. I don't know. Like at 14, or 15, 16, 17, 18, 17, 20, 20, 22, 23. I can feel it's holding immediately. 24, 25, 26, 27, 8, 29, 13, 31, 32. And hopefully that extra eighth of an inch width isn't really going to give me any problem. Hopefully it's not a really going to cause a problem. It's just going to, as long as it holds the inner inside there, there's three, there's four, there's five, there's six, there's seven, there's eight. Let me go up to 40. Maybe one, 40, maybe a couple more. 41, two, three. I feel it's getting harder. 44, resistance 45, 46, feels like enough. No, no, Okay, so, that was about, what, 46? I'm going to try to unscrew it quickly so it doesn't lose too much air. Yeah, get here a little bit, but not much. Now we give it all. Yeah, pretty simple there. Screw on my plastic cap. And I think we're, as they say, good to go here. Now I just, I take this off the bike that's locked up outside, and I'll go back and just put it in the wrench and screw it back on. It looks good. It looks damn good. Huh? <laughs> 46 times I pumped it. God, that should get me around town. And yeah, the only, the only now, the only two things that I, two question marks in my mind. One, is it really going to make a difference the fact that it's one and uh, one and uh, 26 by one and a half instead of 26 by one and three eighths? And I suspect it's not. I suspect it's not going to be a problem. Bouncy, bouncy, huh? I mean, that's a good, that's a good bounciness. You could, you, could, you could actually create a new sport. 
of dribbling. You know how you bounce basketballs like this, or soccer balls. You can create a new bicycle, the old bouncing sport. I mean, because they used to have um, uh, hoops. The whole game back in the like 17 and 1800s, where uh, kids used to have a big hoop and they hit it with, they roll it down the street with a stick. It was sort of like that. Louis and May Alcott in Little Women, I believe, was describing the girl using Joe, I think her name was, was playing with the hoop. You could do something like a modern, modern game of hoops. Of course, you be, kids can't run down streets anymore safely without banging into people and running into traffic, so I guess that idea, unless you do it on some kind of a parking lot court, yeah, do it on a parking lot court, but it's interesting potential for new games with that. And the other question that I had is why this one wasn't holding here when I'm not hearing, I'm not hearing any leak out of it when I squeeze the thing. Why wasn't it holding air? Um, but pretty much it looks like we did a good job. The spoons worked pretty well. That's the end.